Hi guys, I'm Julian, the founder of Fuel Tree Ride, and today we are coming to you from my headquarters in Miami, Florida. And I want to give you a brief overview of our lineup in order to help you choose and find the right scooter for your need. Um, just a few words about our business. We launched it in 2018 and we set out to provide awesome alternative transportation that's environmentally friendly to our customers. And we ordered tons of samples in order to find the right lineup. And we think we pretty much managed to get together a lineup that fits all needs. Um, we've personally ridden all these scooters and um, we would recommend them, but it obviously depends on which scooter is right for you. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Quick word about the location. This is our service center in Miami. In the back, we have the, um, the workshop and we store parts for each one of these scooters. In total, I think it's easily 500 SKUs. So you can be sure that when you buy from us, we have the right support and um, we can basically provide service throughout the lifetime of your scooter. We usually tell our customers that we can't promise that everything will always be flawless, but we can guarantee that in case there's any issues, we're going to work with you to sort them out. So that's why you can shop at Fuel Tree Ride with confidence. Now, in order to select the right scooter for you, you first need to understand what are your needs. And uh, we try to break it down in five categories that helps us to rate these scooters. Number one is range. How far do you have to go? Is it just a short in the city commute? Or do you really need to go like 15, 20 miles on one way? Number two is um, versatility and portability. So um, are you planning on folding up your scooter every day to take on a bus or a train? Or you, know, you just want to fold it occasionally to store it away at home? Um, third one is the power. Do you just want to cruise along or are you looking for some you know, insane and thrilling acceleration just to have some more fun? Um, and also related to this, do you live in a hilly area for which you need more power than on the regular scooters? Um, then we got the ride quality. Uh, do you plan on riding the scooter mainly on asphalt? Um, is the road conditions more rough, like I heard in New York, where you know you have lots of potholes, or are you actually planning on taking the scooter off-road and you need to choose the suspension of the scooter accordingly? And the last one, um, that's a little bit sensitive, but we have to talk about it, is your weight. So we're going to address that one at the end. As always, it's almost impossible to have it all. So the 25 pound electric scooter that goes 30 miles an hour and uh, has a 50 mile range is not invented yet. So along these dimensions that we just talked, uh, we're going to have to make some compromises. So let's first have a look at the City Rider. This is our entry level scooter and it's very comparable to a rental scooter in terms of ride quality. Um, it uh, goes four, uh, 18, 18 miles an hour and it has a relatively small battery so if you go slowly you'll be able to go to 10 miles but if you ride it at its top speed of 18 miles an hour you'll probably be able to get seven or so so um, it's very nicely designed it has a wooden board and it has turn signals um, which is pretty cool you can turn them on here and they actually blink in the rear uh, which is very nice it has a really sleek and nicely designed display it comes with full-on lights ready for your commute and you don't really need any attachments except for maybe a bell it's a very simple scooter um, that rides nice. It has solid tires, so you won't get any flats. The City Rider folds down nicely and the stem locks in the back and it's only 28 pounds, 27, 28 pounds. So it's very easy to carry around, very easy to take on trains and to take on the bus. So if you're looking for something that's um, highly portable, you only have short commutes, um, maybe in combination with a bus or train, then this is the right scooter for you. If we move one model up from there, this is the Horizon. Um, it's a little more powerful than that one. It has a 500 watt motor versus the 300 watt motor in this one. Um, it goes 23 plus miles an hour and it has a pretty large battery for those longer range commutes. Um, we sell it in two battery options and you can go 20 or 25 miles with that. Um, as with all scooters, if you ride it hard, you would get less. If you ride it really chill in echo mode or just in first or second gear, then you will get a little bit more. What I like about this one is that it kind of is very, very versatile um, and it combines a lot of advantages of scooters. So it folds down very nicely. Um, you can fold down the handlebars, it folds down here. It does weigh 40 pounds, so it's a little heavier than this one with 27. Um, but you can still easily carry it in one hand. You can take it on the bus. 
and we would recommend this for every rider who is looking for an all-round electric scooter for usually inner city commutes who wants a comfortable ride this one has dual suspension and is relatively smooth wants a little extra power versus the rental scooters and pretty decent range um, this one is also great value um, for what it offers so if you are generally unsure and you are buying your first electric scooter and you want something that's a little better than a rental scooter i would definitely say have a look at the horizon now we're getting to the wide wheel which has been our best seller in 2019 this is the wide wheel pro but we're still selling the 2019 wide wheel base model um, i'm not going to go into the differences you can look that up on the listings um, what i want to talk about is who is the scooter for so um, you've seen what we said about the Horizon. I would almost say that the wide wheel is for the same type of customer than the Horizon. It's an all-round commuter scooter, but you just want some extra punch of power and you, know, you want that swift acceleration that you get with this one because it comes with two motors, two 500 watt motors versus one 500 watt motor on the Horizon. And you can definitely feel it with every push of the throttle. Um, this one will be able to go up steep hills. We had a rider test it on Lombard Street in San Francisco and he just ripped it up. Um, it goes um, 25 miles an hour on the base model, 26 or maybe even a little more on the pro model. And um, overall, it's a great and fun scooter. People choose it for the amazing design. Um, you see the, the lines are really, really nice. The white tires give it this cool Batman scooter type look. Um, and in terms of ride quality, it's very nice to ride it on flat asphalt. It gives you a little surfing feeling on these wide tires. But when it gets a little rough, you do feel the bumps more than on the Horizon. That's just because the tires are relatively thin and they're foam filled. So the advantage is you will never have a flat, but the disadvantage is you feel the bumps a little more. Now, it comes with dual suspension and I think they do a good job in offsetting most of these bumps. But as I said, because of the thin tires, you will feel the ride a little more. Now, in terms of versatility and portability of the wide wheel, uh, it has a very nice footprint when it's folded down. The handlebars fold like this and the stem comes down and locks so you can carry it in one hand. It's about 10, 12 pounds heavier than the Horizon. Um, but um, in the end, it's because of the larger battery and the two motors that will just add some weight. Um, so it's a very good balance between high powered scooter but still kind of portable and we actually have a lot of customers who commute with this one and they combine it with a train ride because you know they find the horizon a little bit too boring and they just want this extra punch of power that the wide wheel delivers. I haven't had anybody tested here at our shop who didn't come back with a huge smile on his face. From here on we are already getting into the category of um, hyper scooters, ultra powerful scooters, whatever you want to call it. So both the Mantis and the Wolf, I would not recommend for a first time scooter buyer because I think it's important to first, um, you know, get a hang of how the scooter is riding, what the dangers are on the road before you actually zip along with 40 miles an hour. So yes, this one does go 40 miles an hour. It's an amazing scooter um, for inner city rides and also for trail and off-road rides. I would say light off-road, it's not the wolf, uh, but it can handle grass and trails very, very well. It has a super subtle suspension and it gives it this bouncy riding feeling when you're on it. Um, very powerful, two 1000 watt motors, that's why it goes up to 40 miles an hour. And what's nice about this model, although it's so powerful, it still only weighs 65 pounds, which is um, relatively unique in this high-powered scooter segment. Uh, the stem folds down, it locks in the back, and you can carry it in one hand. But obviously at 65 pounds, you know, you don't want to uh, carry it through town. But it's good for a flight of stairs. We sell it in two versions. The base model has standard brakes and will get around 30 miles in range. The pro model has hydraulic brakes and a larger battery, so you'll be able to get 45 miles. These ranges are only possible if you ride the scooter slowly in eco mode. Full speed aggressive riding will get you roughly 50 to 60% of that. Um, we recommend this for everybody who has ridden scooters before and who just wants an all-around advanced scooter package. So awesome suspension, super nice riding quality, uh, excellent acceleration, um, high speed and still portable. The Mantis is for you. And now we get to our most awesome and most powerful, the Wolf Warrior electric scooter. That's the uh, top of the range, at least from what we are selling. It's a crazy machine of a scooter. We say it rides like a tank, 
Um, it goes 50 miles an hour and it has two 1200 watt motors and a huge LG battery. So if you're looking for something that's massively sturdy, that can take any types of off-road conditions or that is ultra long range for, you know, overland rides on asphalt, that's the right scooter for you. You should be able to get 50 miles or more in slow eco mode and 25 miles when you're riding it at the limit. If you take this one off-road, it will still glide along on any type of road condition. So it has those massive, as you can see, massive hydraulic front shocks and it has spring-based rear suspension and it does indeed ride like a tank. Um, it's not very practical, so if you're planning on folding it up and down every day, don't get this one. Um, but if you just plan on maybe folding it to put it in the back of your truck, that definitely works. It folds down, it doesn't lock and it also is 100 pounds, so you'll definitely not be able to carry that in one hand. What I personally love about it is that it has a pretty unique folding mechanism. It's very, very stable and that's why this is good for those advanced road conditions. While I would generally say this is not the right scooter for inner city commutes, we have a lot of customers in New York who actually swear by this scooter because the road conditions are so bad, there's so many potholes, and in the end they're basically using an off-road scooter in the city because that's what's required. So if you live in an environment like this, you can have a look at the Wolf as well, or maybe the Mantis, which also has very, very good suspension. Now to the more sensitive topic, as I said, your weight. Now, these scooters all come with a rated weight limit from the manufacturer. And while a lot of them actually are able power-wise to carry more weight, we definitely do not recommend that you buy a scooter um, when you are heavier than the weight limit because the materials are only tested up to that certain weight limit. And especially if you ride the scooter hard and you know you take some bumps and so on, um, we want to make sure that nothing breaks. So. Um, the City Rider is rated until 120 kilograms, 265 pounds. Um, I personally have to say, if you're over 220 pounds, you don't want to ride that scooter because it will struggle power-wise. So, um, while from a material standpoint this is fine, um, I would still say over 220, you know, look at the Horizon. The Horizon is rated until 265. The wide wheel is rated until 220 pounds and um, we have a lot of riders who ride it who are heavier but again we cannot recommend that because the manufacturer puts this limit in for a reason. The Mantis is rated until 265 pounds and um, you know power wise even at that weight um, you will be thrilled. And then the Wolf, our tank is rated until 330 pounds so uh, with that one you also see how it's built you know if you're a little bigger then i would definitely look at that scooter as well so if i can quickly summarize um, to just try to match each scooter to a specific buyer need i would say the city rider is for um, everyone who has short in the city commutes and wants portability and versi versatility the Horizon is an all-round commuter scooter for longer in the city commutes, maybe a little bit off-road, I wouldn't say, but you know, the suspension is nice, you can take it on grass. Um, the wide wheel is for every commuter or every rider who um, in this price segment looks for an extra punch of power. Um, and that is definitely what makes this scooter unique. The dual motors just drive you forward and it's amazing. Um, it's very nicely designed as well. The Mantis, um, we call it the perfect scooter for the advanced rider who wants it all. As I said, not an entry-level scooter, but if you want um, awesome acceleration, um, long range, you want to take it in the city and on trails, and you still want a scooter that you can carry in one hand, the Mantis is for you. And this one, the Wolf, I would say, is for the... Um, a professional scooter enthusiast we say um, you've ridden a few different scooters and you're ready to kind of get the top of the range it's very comparable to the Dualtron Thunder in terms of power um, it uses some of the same components as well so um, yeah hardcore off-road use or very long range um, overland use um, this is your scooter so I hope this was helpful and if you have any additional questions um, you can always shoot us an email uh, you can also request a call back if you want a personal consultation and um, yeah, remember to always keep it fluid.